Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now today, me and Hans are going to be installing a special dehumidifier in the polytunnel. And this is going to be absolutely amazing for overwintering in the polytunnel because although we have a heater here, which is absolutely brilliant, this one is the Bio Green Phoenix and it's a fantastic electric heater. And this is great for heating, the, keeping the, the plants warm during the very cold days and nights. But the biggest problem here, we live in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, and Ireland and the UK is, as those of you who live in the UK and Ireland will know, it's not the cold temperatures in the winter that's a problem for cacti and succulents if you've got them outdoors in greenhouses and polytunnels and things like that. It's the humidity. The humidity is so high, especially here in Ireland, it's very high. We're in Northern Ireland, as I say, which is even higher humidity because it's that bit damper than when, when I used to live in the south of Ireland, the down part in Waterford. But we have got this special dehumidifier and this is one here. This is called, this is a, by ProBreeze and it's a 10 litre capacity for holding, holding the, the water that it gathers. And we're going to be installing this and sharing the show, showing you the humidity inside this polytunnel now and then what it does after a couple of hours, probably two or three hours, and then show you the water that comes away and how it reduces the humidity. As I say, we've not test, we've not used this. This is the first time we're trying this out. And it is a special one we got from Amazon. And it's one that you can use in cold temperatures because we've tried dehumidifiers before when I used to live at my other house. We had a lovely conservatory and it was great. I used to overwinter all the plants in there, but it was very, very, very cold in there because it was all glass and the condensation was terrible. And because I had to, it was cold in there, even with the heater on, the, a lot of dehumidifiers, you need a minimum, minimum temperature of about 50 Fahrenheit. 10c before they'll really start to collect water properly so that was our problem but this one we've got here is especially for cold cold environments like garages basements attics um, cellars so it's a special one for it, and as long as it's kept below uh, so as long as it's kept above freezing this dehumidifier will work so it's going to be brilliant in here as i say the the um, heater we have, it, it comes on if it drops below 5 Celsius, which is 41 degree Fahrenheit in here, which isn't too often because, as I say, our, our winter temperatures are quite mild, but it comes on. But a de most dehumidifiers do need warmer temperatures for that to work properly, so this is specially. And if you're interested in this dehumidifier, then I'll put links down below. So I got it from Amazon, Amazon UK, but I'm sure they do do a similar one in other parts of the world but I'll put the links down below to where I got it from and you can read a bit more about it as I say I'm not affiliated in any way I have no idea how the how this is going to work for us and it's one we, we got ourselves so it's not one we've been asked to review but if you're interested do check the link down below I'll put it in the video description I tell you a bit more information on it as I said that's our little heater there and also if you're interested in a, a very good electric heater that is it is actually got quite cost effective as well because we have it on a thermostat and i'm often getting asked about greenhouse heaters well as i say this one is by bio green phoenix and the, i'll link up above to, uh, to a video i made when i did the unboxing of this it's about three years that we've had this and we're very very happy with it I have to say and you can read more about it there and if you wanted to purchase it where to purchase it from as i can't remember if i got this i don't think i got it from amazon i think i got it from their website but i think they're pretty much worldwide anyway but i can really recommend this it's fantastic guys really good now here it is here's the um, dehumidifier hansi my wonderful fiance and the love of my life is uh, setting up the dehumidifier for us so if you're not familiar with hansi's youtube channel family of cactusy and other beauties then do check him out and subscribe links will be up above and don't forget to subscribe to me too <laughs> uh, so that's it we've got one of these little wheelie tables which is great because what we what we're going to be doing we've got a little water barrel that we're going to be putting under this table that's exactly 10 litres and it's one of these ones that's got the the pipe pipes which is great because we don't have to keep going and emptying it all the time it's going to have a continuous um, flow where it collects the water 
we'll show you what we're going to be doing, but it's going to be great. And because this is on wheels as well, it means I can come in the polytunnel here regularly when I'm working and filming and everything like that and just wheel it across when I'm getting to attend all the plants. So this is one of these, we're using one of these 10 litre, it's an old pump sprayer that's broken which has worked out really well because we can use see it's 10 litres exactly so we can use this to put the continuous uh, pipe in there which is great and uh, I've got all the settings on it there it comes with a manual as well quite easy we've got two of these other ones we've got in our house and they're brilliant by Pro Breeze again and very very good dehumidifiers but we're using the ones for the house this one as I say is a special one especially for cold environments like I mean if you have cellars and basements a lot of people have grow rooms that they've converted their cellars um, and they have grow lights and everything but it's very cold in there and damp this is going to work brilliantly as I say even if you have an unheated greenhouse many many people here don't heat the greenhouses at all um, and they just keep it literally above freezing then this will work effectively so um, I'm going to show you now that's it all set up before we go any further with it I'm just going to show you there look it's just opening up <laughs> and although we've got we do keep the door open on uh, nice dry winter or autumn days I should say like today to ventilate the polytunnel but we're going to obviously close the door now um, to see how this works and obviously when it comes to dehumidifiers it, you, if this was a humongous greenhouse this polytunnel greenhouse is 10 by 20 feet so it is large it's a large area but if it was one of them very big industrial polytunnels we'd probably need um, either two of these or, or another different dehumidifier but this one will do this size room it's the equivalent of a large living room so it's going to be perfect and uh, I'm just going to show you now the the actual humidity it's about 85 percent in here which is terrible when you think of it for cacti and succulents I'm just going to show you we have a special thermometer inside our house we have we have uh, three of these sensors there's one of them there that we put in the polytunnel we've got three of them around the polytunnel and it gives us a reading of what the, uh, the temperature in the polytunnel is and also it gives us the humidity so I'm going to show you what it's reading at now now there you go guys this is our little thermometer here that connects with all the sensors in the polytunnel and uh, we have three sensors throughout the polytunnel uh, number one two and three and as you can see there it's 13 degrees celsius temperature so it's quite very mild in there at the moment but look at that 88 percent humidity at the back of the polytunnel 85 percent humidity in the middle of the polytunnel and 85 percent humidity towards the front of the polytunnel so it's extremely high in humidity for cacti and succulents to overwinter so it's going to be amazing to see how this dehumidifier works and obviously we're going to have the dehumidity on for a few hours and uh, show you what um, the humidity reduces by after it's been on for a few hours as I say now it's 85 and 88 percent almost 90 percent humidity it's like a sweat lodge in there <laughs> uh, here is the machine yeah I'm very happy for it and uh, here is the tank and there is a tube from it so it this hasn't tank even here but uh, it's not enough I think so we have these for 10 litre right and this tube down to that one it's so brilliant it saves having to keep going in and emptying it and as much. you see here on and off quite easy settings in your humidity 60 percent percent uh, to 40 percent so of course 40 40 percent percent high low and auto you have fan here and then timer you can put the timer on from two hours to 12 hours right and here this swing this is the swinger uh, it can be wide or front or up so it's easy to choose so if everything is okay now some lamp some lamps gonna go on here now <laughs> and it did and, Yay! This start and that here. started yeah. there you go hear that guys yeah. sucking out the moisture wide we can take front instead there front yay happy days so now this is set up we're going to leave this for a few hours and uh, we're then going to show you as i say that the humidity i just showed you there was on 88 at the first sensor here and uh, then 85 percent humidity in the middle which is where our second sensor is yeah. and also 85 by the door there so 
this is going to be great so happy days guys that's it all set and then we're going to show you after a few hours how it's brought down the humidity and also the amount of water that it collects but now we can go here for some hours so. yeah and i think it's good um, what do you think four or five hours per day i think four to five hours a day yeah. so um that should really really help these guys oh especially the desert yeah. types i mean yeah. we have a lot of epiphytes in here as well they yeah. don't mind the humidity no, um they even like it they even <laughs> like it yes but obviously the desert types that we've got here don't like it this is a result sometimes of too much humidity where you get this sort of scabbiness sometimes appearing it's down to often just down to too much humidity but yep yeah, move across so there even this one i can move over they're going to think they're in the desert, guys. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Might come in here and sit and have a cup of tea. Great. So, happy days. And this uh, even give heat. That's great. So it's perfect, you know. You yeah, oh, lovely. You feel yeah. a bit of heat. Yeah. And it might actually save us money because obviously with the heater on and everything like that, we have loads of grow lights in the house. You know, the electric bill is... We're very lucky. Our electric is, is good, actually, considering we have all the grow lights and have, the, have to have the heater on many times in the winter and stuff like that. But this will probably reduce it because we may not have to have the heater on so much because given a bit of heat, it's going to be great. So there we go. And I'll uh, report back then in a few hours. Yeah. Yay. Happy days. Happy days. Now guys, just look at that. We've had the dehumidi sorry, the dehumidifier on for about five hours, just over five hours now. And look at the difference. The humidity here has gone down to um, 59 at the, the top of the polytunnel, 60 in the middle of the polytunnel and 66 towards the door. And that's absolutely incredible because, as you know, the humidity was over 80%, which is extremely high. And that has brought it right down there. Absolutely fantastic. And what we're going to be doing is obviously having the dehumidifier on probably for about five hours during the day. And that's going to really help bring the, uh, the humidity down in the polytunnel. It's going to really help the, the plants. So it's absolutely brilliant. And now we're going to go in, into the um, polytunnel, turn the dehumidifier off and show you how much water that it's actually collected. Now here we are in the polytunnel and I have to say it feels so much drier in here. You can just feel the air. It's, it's lovely. And even though it's, it's getting uh, dark now, it's getting cool. But this is how much it's collected already. That's how much water there in the, in the bucket. Unbelievable. That's amazing. So this would have all been sitting in the air. So that is absolutely brilliant. Happy with it, I have to say. And it's nice and silent too when it's on. So very, very, very happy with it. And then I'll do a more update, update review on this in the coming weeks, how it works with the cacti. But it's going to be brilliant, I have to say, just to feel that uh, nice drier air. Absolutely brilliant. So thanks so much for watching guys and if you haven't done already please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell and for lots more info on how to care for and grow cacti and succulents check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of crazy cactus and succulent power from across the Emerald Isle and until my next video Bye!